7 News with team coverage now. Frustrations over marijuana sales in Colorado. The amount of money it's making for the state way off projections. It's much lower than expected. And now there's a push by the state to grow even more pot to snuff out the black market. 7 News reporters Amanda Cost and Russell Haythorn working this developing story. And Russell, let's start with you. Pot dispensaries say growing more marijuana will not solve the problem? Right, Eric. Growers and dispensary owners will tell you the problems here are twofold. One, the high taxes on recreational marijuana, and two, the lax rules and lack of oversight by the state with regard to medical marijuana licenses. Right now, the numbers are about 60-40. 60% of pot sold in Colorado is the legal variety. The other 40% is the black market. Legal pot growers and dispensary operators stay the, say, say the state's focus shouldn't be about increasing production but rather experimenting with a lower tax rate for recreational pot. Just look at the numbers. An eighth of an ounce of recreational marijuana will cost you about $60. The same amount as a medical marijuana card holder will cost you 30 and getting it on the street, about 25. Just turn around and say, if I can't get a medical card, I'm gonna go buy from the black market dealer down the street. The state needs to take a look at some kind of a tax break for a period of time on recreational. Bruce Nassau owns this, this shop and two others in town. He says the state should experiment with lowering the tax for recreational marijuana by about 7 to 8 percent, down from 21 percent to 14, maybe 13 percent. And he says the state can then see how that takes a bite out of the black market. All of this was discussed today by the state marijuana production work group, but no decisions were made as of yet. Live in Denver, Russell Haythorn, 7 News. Thanks, Russell. And right now, our team coverage continues with 7 News reporter Amanda Cost, always investigating. Amanda, you've been checking the marijuana tax revenue numbers here in our state. And, and the actual revenue here, short of what was projected early on. Now, about this time last year, state researchers projected that there would be revenue, tax revenue here, more than $33 million. Now, they were off by more than $10 million with this at least $10 million of that actual revenue. So what is really happening here? We're checking the latest marijuana statistics and we showed the numbers add up to more than 115,000 valid medical marijuana registry ID cards. Now so far, a lot of those are not converting to recreational marijuana. A study released to the Department of Revenue pointed out that this could indicate that medical consumers would rather pay the medical registration fees as opposed to the higher tax rates Russell was just referring to. Now, how much does it cost to get a registration card for the medical ID? Right now, that rate is $15. Reporting live, Amanda Cost, 7 News.